I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm giving you five navy suit outfit ideas for spring. Gonna take a five days, five ways approach to this video here, Monday through Friday, and we're kicking off Monday with what I would call a very classic spring business look. The navy suit I'm featuring throughout this video is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. It's in a hop sack fabric from BBC. Great fabric for the spring and summer months especially. Classic styling on the jacket, two button notch lapel, patch pockets, and then we have side adjusters and a two inch cuff on the trousers. Keeping it super classic with a white poplin shirt, also from the HSS Michael Andrews collection, and of course a white pocket square. Silk tie is by Drake's, kind of gives it a more of a springtime feel with the lighter color, and then the pattern keeping it less formal than, say, a solid tie. On my wrist, another classic, my Rolex Datejust. It's the 36 millimeter version on a Jubilee bracelet. And then finishing off with a great pair of derbies by Enzo Bonafe. The shoes here, I think, really pull everything together, and the color definitely gives the whole look a lighter, more springtime feel. For Tuesday, I'm going more for a business casual kind of feel. Obviously, the biggest difference here is that we've lost the tie. Wearing a suit without a tie is a bit of a tricky maneuver. Good thing someone put together a video recently on how to do that the right way. The link is right up there in the corner and you can watch it. One of the things I talk about is to keep things simple. The classic approach to this is navy suit, white shirt. Another way, which is what you see here, is adding a pattern shirt to be kind of the focal point. This shirt here with the wider stripe is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection in a Thomas Mason fabric. One extra button unbuttoned just to kind of play into the more casual approach here. Very unlike me, I did add in a little seasonal color with the pocket square. I say that because I feel like typically I'm pretty boring with my pocket square choices. Same with socks. Anyway, moving on now to the watch on my wrist. We have the Cartier Tank American, and then a classic penny loafer anchoring this look. These are the Kenwood by Alan Edmonds. Here we are at Wednesday, and I've chosen to go with a monochromatic thing. Generally, when you do monochromatic, it can tend to come off as more formal. I think when you see all of the same color together, it just kind of has that effect for some reason. Here, I definitely didn't want that formality, and I wanted to continue that spring-like theme. So, a couple of ways I'm doing that with this look. First, it's all about texture. This suit is in a hop sack weave, so it has a bit of a texture to it. Again, it gives it a more casual overall feel. A tie by Drake's. Navy grenadine also has texture. A grenadine tie is really one of the best ways to sort of bridge that gap and make suited looks a little less formal. Then we have the denim or chambray shirt from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. Again, another great way to take the formality out of a suit. And together with the three different blues and all of the textures, we've got a monochromatic outfit that does not seem formal and has a lot of subtlety to it. Last details to mention here, pocket square. It's a gray kind of floral pattern, also HSS Michael Andrews. Watch, the Alanga and Zuna datagraph. And finally, the shoes, wingtip Oxfords by Alan Edmonds. These are the McAllister. Thursday look is similar to the Monday look, but there are a few subtle but very important differences here. The Monday look was definitely super classic. This one is too, but this one, in my opinion, goes more to the springtime vibe. Let's talk about those differences. First, the shirt. In the Monday look, we had a white poplin. Here we have an ice blue Oxford cloth shirt. It's HSS Michael Andrews. Poplin, to me, always seems a little more formal. Oxford cloth seems a bit more casual. It's got that little bit of texture to it. Next, the tie. Instead of straight up silk, this is a silk linen tie. The tie from the first look has more of a sheen to it. This, because of the addition of the linen, has a texture to it that even though it's a solid color, gives it more of a casual feel. Pocket square, again, something a little more fun. It's a gray floral print with some blues and browns, which helps tie the entire look together. And then the shoes, double monk straps. These are by Tommy Hilfiger. Gives it a little more of an Italian flavor. And then finally on my wrist is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. The brown leather strap really ties in the shoes and then again, makes everything very cohesive. Well, we made it to Friday and I am going to ditch the full suit. Casual Fridays, 
Let's dress it down even more. One of the best things about a hopsack suit is its extreme versatility, especially the ability that you have to wear the jacket as a separate. And then in a more casual or business casual situation like we have here, the fact that it has patch pockets makes it even better. Spring is a great time for cotton chinos. I love a lighter color. These are kind of off-white or cream colored by Ring Jacket. They do have a two inch cuff. The shirt from the HSS Michael Andrews collection is in a brown gingham pattern. Everyone has the navy gingham. Brown is a little unexpected and much cooler in my opinion. Sunglasses are the Oliver Peoples Banks. Watch going with the Bacheron Constantin Traditionnel again. And then finishing the look off with a pair of brown suede Belgian shoes, the Mr. Casuals. One navy suit, five days, five ways, Monday through Friday for your springtime looks. Leave your comments down below. Let me know your favorite look. Actually, why don't you rank them, your most favorite to your least favorite. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and please hit that bell so you get notified every time we publish new videos. That's all for now, everyone. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tailored.